Now lots of people love coloured pencils but they don't love the time that they take and the fact you can't really do light over dark. Pastel Matte comes to the rescue, it allows you to do a lot more light over dark and pan pastels are there to speed up the process. In this video I'm going to show you exactly how I did this drawing with polychromos pencils, pan pastels and pastel matte paper. For those interested in seeing a longer version of this I've got one over on my Patreon channel and I also do the exact same version using just pastels and pastel pencils so you can compare the two versions and see which one you prefer. Hope you enjoy this video. If the pigment doesn't get down into the valley that's where you can get this kind of a grainy appearance to it which I don't like. With pastels I use pan pastels to fill that lower part of the valley up, the lower part of the tooth as I'm doing now or I could do it the same with pastel pencils or I could do the same with soft pastels. The thing when you're using coloured pencils the grain really shows up and you've got to kind of use the layers then in you know kind of like little circular motions or something like that in a sharp pencil to build the layers up until you get in the coloured pencil pigment so the waxiness or the oiliness going down into the lower regions the lower layer of the pastel matte paper. So my way of thinking to speed up the process with coloured pencils is to use pan pastels just like I would with um, the pastel as I'm showing you on the screen now. That's filling that tooth up like I say not filling the tooth but putting pigment in the lower layers of the tooth and I'm hoping and as we can see on the screen by the finished drawing I was hoping at the start that coloured pencils would work on top and they do. So what I'm going to show now is just basically how I use the pan pastels to initially put um, a basic block in of the colours. Now I'm starting with my first kind of build up layer of the fur texture. So I need to go darker, I can see that looking at that finished drawing top left hand corner. The reference photo looked very similar as well. I just thought it'd be easier for you to actually see the, the finished drawing and where I'm going with it. And what I'm doing basically for those that haven't seen lots of my other videos with pastels is I'm putting in the shadow areas really, the darker areas in between the fur details. Okay so the details will come on top of this layer. I'm being a bit more cautious with the pastel because I know I can't put um, exactly the same type of opaque vibrant layers on top of it that I would be able to do with my pastel pencils. So I'm making sure that nothing too dark is going on as an under layer with the coloured pencils. Here I'm starting to add a few lighter strokes in this bottom right hand corner and look how good they're showing up. So that just goes to prove that you can put light on top of a pan pastel layer. The details are showing up very well. They're looking a little bit um, more gritty, more grainy than pastel wood. Okay, so it may be a bit more difficult to actually get the smoothness that, that I would get with pastels but as I said I'm not an expert with coloured pencil but you could obviously spend much more time um, trying to get the smoothness and also use paper stumps as well to smooth out the coloured pencil just like you would pastel pencils. Now I'm going much lighter here on the highlight and also I can then go nice and light on those hairs below the eye and on the ones above the eye as well. So you can see when you use pencils 
these are not particularly sharp yet I'll, I'll really sharpen them up for the detail but you can clearly see how how the colored pencil is definitely layering on top quite easily not substantially different than using pastels it's just that with pastels I can get a, a softer smoother appearance more quickly and more easily because I can just blend it with the fingers and with the colored pencils I'm using more of a direct approach so the marks that I'm making are really staying like that and I'm not going to be layering as much Now this is really a test area. I need to go really quite light in here. And I've started to get a good few layers come in as well. So this is where I was expecting possibly to start to come into some problems as the colored pencil is layering up one on top of the other. Then I was expecting it to be a bit more difficult to get light on top. But as you can see, it's still layering on really, really well. Now I'm just going to carry on and do the technique that you've seen on that right hand side. So I'm putting the darker area in first, the darker texturizing of the hair, the fur, and then I can come on top and build up those layers of details again. So as you can see, layering over quite well. So don't forget this, you know, I'm not trying to push colored pencils or pastels onto anybody. Try it out for yourself, see which you prefer because they've all got their pros and cons. With colored pencil, we, we don't have the pastel dust. Uh, with pastel, obviously we do have a little bit of dust. If we're using my techniques, it's, it's not much dust at all, but there, there is some. And, some people really can't get on with the pastel potential dust that's there and that's that um, smudging color pencil does smudge much less than pastel that can be an advantage or a disadvantage if you want the softness then you may want to be able to smudge it like i do and then put details on top pastel has got a greater tonal range as i mentioned earlier on so it's got advantages uh, with that. Um, and another big one is actually that colored pencils reflect the light. So by that I mean if you've done a drawing and especially if there's lots of blacks in there as well and, and it's by a window or you just hold your drawing by a window or bright light, you can move the drawing around and you'll see it just like with graphite really reflect and bounce the light back. That's more apparent in the dark areas um, and that's a massive difference for me compared to, to pastel. With pastel, when the drawing's done, you can put the drawing in any angle against a light or a window or on your wall and it'll just look, um, just look perfect. It's not affected. There's no light bouncing back off the shiny surface. Whereas with colored pencil, you have got a shiny surface just like graphite so you do have that to contend with and as I said that for me 
um, is a really big difference <clears throat> excuse me to some colored pencil artists they may not be concerned about that at all it's just part of the medium but to me that's that's a bit of a, a deal breaker and one thing that I, I love about pastel pastel is quicker to do uh, really especially though if you're doing colored pencil and not using pastel matte paper the pastel matte paper does speed up the process just as well as the pan pastels I put on speeds it up very much so it's not a great deal of difference in time but um, if you use standard paper and you're working negatively then that massively increases the time you're going to spend on your colored pencil drawing and obviously we don't need to do that with pastel so what I'm saying is there's lots and lots of um, pros and cons and you need to try it out and decide for yourself I'm just demonstrating what can actually be done they're not the same um, they are two different mediums one's not really better than the other for me pastels allow me the ease of um, creating a soft look of blending and then I can still put details on top I like working large with pastels um, it's quicker for sure so I can work large and uh, not get bored with it colored pencils there's no dust it still will blend if I rubbed over the surface of this I'd still smudge it so don't think that that's not true with colored pencils the blacks are certainly not as black if you're using a mid-tone paper the lights are certainly not as as light but for something that's more um, subdued like this one I like the colored pencil effect will I use it myself in the future I'm not sure I'd only use it if I think there was a benefit to doing it over my pastels I've done pastels obviously for so many years now three or four years that I'm really at home using them will I combine colored pencils with pastels a lot more than I've done in the past quite possibly and I'll do more experiments on that to see how um, colored pencil sits when I've got more layers of pastel underneath not just the pan pastels so what I'm saying there is will the colored pencils still put down as easily say I was doing all this in pastels at, up to this stage then I wanted to use colored pencils I'm pretty sure if I wanted say a, a bright white hair on over the eye or something that the colored pencils wouldn't be able to do it there'd be too much pastel down and I wouldn't really be able to get a bright white hair even on this now if I was using uh, just the colored pencils on top of uh, multiple layers of colored pencils okay so there's still limitations in there hope you've enjoyed this video something very different again see you all on the next video just wanted to quickly mention my patreon channel for those looking for even more in-depth art instruction it's packed full of pastel videos oil videos as well and those videos are being added to new ones every single month I have videos for the complete beginner that have never done pastels or oils before with just limited supplies and I take you from the very first blocking in all the way through to the final detailed drawings and paintings. I've also got some really unusual subjects as well and in all of my videos I always take you through all the details you see everything I do how I create my work. But it's not just for beginners it's also for novices and I also show the best artwork that I've ever done as well and this particular elephant video spans six hours so you know you're going to see tons and tons of details tips and techniques and as mentioned I've got lots of oil videos on there too so there really is something for everybody and you get access to hundreds of hours worth of videos for just four dollars now over a thousand members strong Hope to see you there soon.